Hey guys, the Jordude here, back again with another Shadowverse video. This is a Nair deck and gameplay video, so if you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If we get over 50 likes in the first week of me posting this, then we'll post some more gameplay with this deck. So the deck we're going to be featuring today is actually Neutral Forest, so this is, this is something that um, it it kind of had the support for, but it seemed like it was still lacking some cards. And especially with the nerf to Alice in Wonderland, like people expect neutrals to be just like a completely dead archetype. However, I've been experimenting with this this build of Neutral Force, and it seems okay. Um, I've been doing quite decently on ladder. The deck runs quite smoothly, um, despite the fact that it's like 90% just neutral followers. So as you can see here. Um, it doesn't include include Alice, I just don't think Alice is that good, just having the plus one attack. It's, it's aggressive, but it doesn't give you enough value. Um, I am running the Impartial Strix, this is a pretty old card now, but it was like one of those first neutral craft kind of cards. And it fits into this deck because, um, of course, Forest has a bunch of, having a bunch of neutral cards in your hand, or just having a bunch of neutral, neutral cards in general, so I'm running Impartial Strix because um, only 9 cards in this deck are from the forest craft, so you're pretty much always getting the fanfare effect off. If, if you don't, that means you're that far late in the game that you're not winning the game anyways. So Impartial Strix is a turn 4, 5, 5, possibly a 7, 7 if you have to evolve. So really good card, aggressive, puts a lot of pressure on your opponent. This deck is mainly about putting pressure on your opponent. As you can tell, you got the, the curve. Um, early curve. I'm even running goblins just so you have something to do on one. Um, then you have your two twos into your threes. Threes ideally you want to go ki kindly treant that becomes a three four. A three four with ward on turn three is just so insane. Um, especially while you're already building board into a, f a turn four five five. So like if you curve out ideally and you have the hands the cards in your hand to fuel your um, neutral bonuses then like this this deck is kind of nutty. So yeah, ideally you curve out, play your 5-5 five, five on 4, Hector on 5, can't Beauty and the Beast on 6, and you end the game with Ariette on 7. Because as you all know, Beauty and Beast, become, if you evolve it, it could be like a 9-10 with invulnerability to damage and destruction effects. And then you just hit twice with Ariette. Um, I'm running 1 Staircase to Paradise just for some extra gas. Um, you, if you don't have a Goblin, you could just play this on turn 1, have it start counting down. And once it counts down, you refill your hand, which pretty much guarantees that you're going to have enough neutral cards in your hand for either your Kindly Tree and Hector, Beauty and the Beast, but it'll also make sure you draw your those cards like Beauty and the Beast, Ariette and stuff. So that's why I have the one Staircase of Paradise in here. Um, triple Elf Twins of Solid just for some kind of tempo gain. Uh, you have the board, you play Elf Twins of Solid, clears your opponent's board. Um, really good card. Uh, Kaiser just so you have constant neutrals in your hand with the carrots. Angel of Words just kind of like a tempo card. Uh, Pure Hearted Singer, similar to Kaiser, just for, so you could draw more. I only need two in here because it is kind of a tempo loss being a 1 2 on 3. Um, three Kindly Treants. And then, of course, the five you have Gruff and Hector. So, this is a deck. It's actually quite fun to play despite it just being neutral followers. So, I do recommend giving it a try if you guys are tired of trying to do some Roach math. And yeah, definitely check it out and check out these games I have coming up and thanks for watching guys as always if you like the video make sure you subscribe and check me out in the links down below in the description on my social medias thanks for tuning in guys and I'll see you guys next time peace alright we got a curve let's take it <laughs> Start off with the goblin there. Turn one pass. We'll probably go we'll probably go archer. We might get the board for farrier to buff. Staircase. Alright. 
We'll cheese him with the with the owl here on turn four. Hopefully. He's going to be able to evolve by then, so he'll probably be able to deal with the Strix, to be honest. Do I want to clear this board or do I want to just go face here? We're playing the Strix. There's five men, five play points next turn, so you could play. You could play Sybil, but it's not that great. Uh, we could trade here. Goblin into the one one. I actually don't even think we need to kill the Ivory Dragon. He could he take he could take the Valley trade here, but he wants to trade into one of my two two, so he could play um fire lizard right uh but if he fire lizards he can't kill my strix unless he fire lizards the strix and evolves it then he takes a value trade here but in my next turn could be angel to ward faria i think either way i take this value trade this is going face if we trade here It doesn't make my fairy a better next turn. This also like forces him to fire lizard. Like fire lizard to kill my two one evolve trades into my strix and then like a blazing breath is a pretty weak turn for him. Oh, he's not even killing the strix. Okay, so we could angel the word and Faria, or we could also Hector. They're both good, actually. Um, I don't want to pop this staircase off, so I don't want to clear. We could go angel word trade and Faria. Um, Angel of Word, Angel of Word, Faria, Evolve, Trades here. I have a 6-6, six, six, a 4-4, four, four, and a 3-3. Three, three. Probably the best. Hector. Hector trade evolve push seven. I get a four four. He goes up to seven mana. Maybe the Hector's better. And that this way I don't have to trade to let him have the paradise. He says I put him in overflow, but it's fine. He has no answer. His best answer would be like something that could evolve into my Hector, and if he had a Scyther. But that's why I didn't want to give him the paradise for the Scyther. Alright, we got the goblin to open up. I'll take that. Hector's good, but I don't think I want it in my opening hand. Kaiza's good as well, but I'd rather have Angel of the Word or the Treant. Like, against Sword, I have to maul pretty, pretty aggressively for the cards I need to win. Otherwise, I'm just going to die. Pretty bad hand. Like I don't have a turn three play, which is the problem at the moment. I really can't miss a turn. Ideally I draw a tree in the next two turns. That would slow him down so much. Oh 
Double goblin. I'll turn the salt would also be good next turn, I guess. This board's pretty nasty, especially if he has a slacker on four. Hmm. You're taking the trade, that's... That's interesting. Not the best, but at least we got something to play. Though it could've been way better. Maybe he draw maybe he drew dead. He only has all these one drops. Even with all these one drops, like it's still good for him. We have to kill the Perseus, otherwise he might just evolve the Perseus for the extra buffs. I have Hector next turn, guaranteed. Council, okay. Interesting if he will evolve the Spade Blade or not. Spade Raider. This is a 7 6. Now you're going face. Okay. Yeah, I have no reason to just like evolve to trade into there here. We want as least damage as possible on the Hector, so I'm going to trade the Hector into his 1 3. And the Owl on here. No, I can't go face because I don't have air yet and I wouldn't be able to play air yet next turn even if I did. Next turn I have Gruff and Goblin and then I could have both of them attack which is nice. So he's out of gas. And we're at 6 so we're actually really safe. Or we're relatively safe at the moment. And I get a push 7 this turn. Another Strix. He can't draw f 5 damage in one card. So if I go Strix, I can also st evolve the Strix as a 7-7. Seven, seven. I push 7 here. So that does set up lethal. But does this set up lethal as well? He's at 12. I also ha but I have 3 plus 3. 13. So this is more- this is safer. Even though it's like not possible for him to find lethal. Because I also get the extra rush effect in the immediate turns. Like if he draws a Wheelas, I have another rush that could deal with the taunt. There we go. I saw the